this video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or just to get the latest booster pack in town on TCGO? Well, they have everything. Use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG and get 5% off your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardsMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can get uh, booster packs, even all school cards like this cool Mr. Mime over here so be sure to check it out on cartmarket.com last but certainly not least is going to be yourplaymat.com this is a website where you're able to create your own unique custom playmat get your own unique custom playmat right now by clicking the link in the description below or using the coupon code zablustcg 10 yp and get 10% off your order when creating your own unique custom playmat for the new season anyhow thanks for sticking around on the commercials I'll see you guys very shortly peace What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. In this channel you're gonna get daily content so be sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Sable IV got stronger with Evolving Skies and I'm gonna showcase why that is. You're not only having more energy acceleration capabilities than ever before. Uh, Crazy Claw slaps 10 damage plus 60 more for every damage counter on the opposing active Pokemon. You have quick shooting, sniping some damage. You have uh, of course the one and only old cemetery. If they attach to a non-psychic they get damage. You have ways you can get damage onto the opposing Pokemon with stuff like the neutralizing gas, wheezing in the active position, use severe poison, get them stuck in the active and then go from there. You have a Ryan to accelerate energies. EXP share helps to of course get the extra energy on and E-Switch with the Dire Flame Wings. Moltres can also make it happen. So very sy uh, systematic build. We're gonna see if it's gonna work out uh, in our case. You can also dunk Sobbles with Hoopa. And all around, I did really love the way that uh, Sableye is able to use Crazy Claws and knock out any VMAX in the game. If you are hyped for Sableye V, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. It only takes a second of your time and it helps out the channel tremendously. We're going to see what we're up against. Hopefully a post-rotation deck because we are also playing a post-rotation deck. It's going to be uh, also an idea based on uh, the deck that we saw in the Atlas Collectibles from Taiwan. Trent was the opponent playing this. And uh, with the high amount of money and the ability block, you can actually shut down anything. You can shut down uh, uh, Intrepid Swords, you can shut down uh, Shady Dealings. There's a lot of things possible with a list like this. Unfortunately, we do not start with our preferred starter, but the good thing is we can go for Keep Calling, which can actually get a lot of Sobbles up on board. We are up against Zacian. Is this pre-rotation Zacian or is it going to be Zacian and Talion? If it's Zacian and Talion, we can actually make sure he's not able to use any abilities, which could be awesome. Just an Intrepid Sword, huh? No energies, that's super good to see. This one. We're gonna get out a coughing. Coughing here. Attach of the turn here. Old cemetery and keep on calling. Keep on calling for the squad. Let's go. How many yeah, Weezing is in there. Ryan, we need to check out Ryan is in there. It's fine. Check out, here they come. First you attack with Weezing, then you attack with uh, none other than Sableye. That's how it is. We are up uh, two prize against two prize. It's better against V Maxes, but uh, we're gonna have ourselves a lot of fun. Definitely because we shut down the abilities. We're gonna retreat. I'm gonna put an energy onto Coffee. Okay, switching over to Subble. Quick balling away in Metal Energy. Subble again. He could have Saucer Attachment Switch. Saucer attachment air balloon. Lots of things possible, by the way. We'll see what happens. Research. Oh boy. Two switches down the drain, though. So if this guy's stuck, that's gonna be awesome. Drizzle. Yeah, the Drizzle army. Saucer. And an intrepid sword. Well, didn't expect that, but all right. I'll take it. So, first of all, hiding dark energy on this guy. We, we get damage, we know, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go for keep calling. We will go for none other than level ball. Yeah, let's just get these out first. Drizzle. 
think I will definitely get a Marnie here. Marnie. Lovable. <laughs> Drizel. I think now Evolution Incense is the card we need. Yes. Here we go. Evolution Incense. Finding Weezing. Weezing in the house. And it's Marnie time. We still have one Sobble remaining to use Drizel. We might even get a level ball. <laughs> we get Weezing in hand. Fine. A retreat. He could actually gust out the Sableye, so we're not going to be benching it right away. Severe Poison. There we go. Let's see if he's able to uh, do something. He's not able to Intrepid Sword, and he's not able to go for Shady Dealings. A way out could be Energy Metal Saucer. The cool thing is that uh, there's already research in his, two research in his discard pile, so... We are gonna get, try and get our Sableye set in motion, so we can hunt after these guys. These are gonna give us additional prize cards, by the way. Attachment onto this uh, station, does get damaged by Old Cemetery, and he does get research. No saucer, though. If he doesn't have a switch out, or an air balloon, uh, he does have a switch out. Oh boy, pretty interesting. Brave Blade action. We can instantly knock this guy out. If we have all of our resources. Either we go for Galarian Moltres. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky. Uh, we need Galarian Moltres and E-Switch to make it happen. This one. Attachment. This one. Research. All right, what can we get? We have, yeah, a lot of things we actually can use here. A lot of things we can use. We can scoop up the Drizzle. There we go. We can promote this guy. We can quick shoot the fella. 40. That means we're slapping enough damage. We're gonna go for, we can actually get back to back with Ryan, which is crazy. So, Drizal. Let's scout out what we have, by the way. Yeah, Galarian Moltres is in there. Hmm. Shady dealings. Evolution Incense, another Sniper, because we do have research. I really want to use the Ryan next turn. I don't even know if he has two Saucers. Just in case. Evolution Incense. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna have to... I don't even know if it's gonna work or not, but... Just in case, we're gonna go for Quick Ball. Getting rid of one Subble. Finding Galarian Moltres. Using the Dire Flame Wings ability. E switching, so we are not punished by Old Cemetery again. There we go. We Evolution Incense. We still have a switch left in the deck, which is awesome. I think. Quick shooting in Talion is going to be important here to actually prepare. We do have two quick shooting, so we can actually prepare this guy instantly. Little subbles. Don't know if it's gonna. If they're all gonna evolve though. Hmm. Poking him down. I know we have a boss's orders as well. So, uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Crazy Claws <laughs> of Sableye. He can get two saucers, but if we can then knock this guy out, it's gonna be ridiculous. Two prize cards, lovable. Promoting the Subble. I don't even know what he has. 
two saucers down the drain. If there's like one saucer price, it's not possible anymore. Quick ball, another dog in the discard. Ooh, Zema Zenta. Is it gonna matter here? Four cards, not gonna be drawing cards with Crobat or stuff. Does get more damage. E switch. Yeah, really, maybe we should have scouted out for EXP share and put the EXP share onto Galarian Moltres. Could have been a way out. <laughs> Marnie. Yeah, that could have been a better play, to be honest. But I really want to have the quick shootings by my side. I think there is a. Uh, capabilities here. He also needs to still get out of the active and he already played down three switches, which seems pretty harsh. Drizzle, evolve, Drizzle, evolve. So uh, we're up against a tier of one Zacian deck with our funky Sableye deck. Saucer number one. Damage onto the Drizzle. And an Intrepid Sword. Bunkers. That is bunkers. Yo. Old Cemetery allows us to put damage wherever we please. Quick shootings. We could switch and po knock him out. With Hoopa? That sounds like a plan, right? We do have another quick shooting as well. Huh. Lots of things possible here. Here. And then we switch. And go for research. Let's go. We also have e-switch, which just makes it super easy for us to get whatever we want. I will e-switch one energy from the Sableye onto the Moltres. We don't have more sniping capabilities, unfortunately. Quick shooting. This guy's probably not attacking anytime soon. He had already used a lot of resources. Spread. Quick shooting. Spread. The lava ball probably not going to be useful, so we're going to play it right now. Yeah, there's still a lot of great things in the deck, by the way. Hoopa! Assault gate. So Hoopa's great knocking out subbles or knocking out little uh, uh, drizzles. Orion, super powerful. Okay, if we can get the third Intellion out, which we can do with Ryan, we can knock out this Drizzle and knock out this Station with uh, either Sableye or Galarian Moltres. Checkmate. And is uh, Old Cemetery really doing the job here? Unless he gets a lot of Intellions out, then he can snipe for... Yeah, barely not enough. EXP share going to Semazenta. Bossing up the Sableye cleverly. We will get the energy instantly back. And then uh, Ryan finds our last puzzle piece that we need to knock out this fella. Super solid gameplay, right? I think so. This seems to be like a very, very unique, powerful deck. Yeah, that's why I figured. Sniping damage, brave blading. And the game is set and match. Galarian Moltres is here. Let's go. Dire Flame Wings. Absorb. <laughs> we can also like knock him out with Sableye, by the way. Should we do that? We slap 190, we just knock him out, right? Anyhow. Oh yeah, we can no longer play Ryan now. I think <laughs> I think we need to do it differently. This one. A retreat. Checker. Check out. Attachment. Ryan. <laughs> this was way too funky. Yeah. You need to make, make sure that there's energies in the discard pile, otherwise you're not able to play <laughs> with Ryan. But Dire Flame Wings and Retreat is also an option. So now we are showcasing the true power of the Intellions here. That's why we're playing three. Okay, and that's a well-deserved, well-played. Okay, EXP share was priced, so no misplays being made. So yeah, Crazy Claws with a slap for 400 and bazillion damage, which is uh, always fun to see. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this particular deck in action. If you are, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways, fellas. And right now, 
let's see what's on the other side of the world facing off against this weird dark deck. Ryan, Galarian Moltres. If you're up against Shadow Rider, you also automatically win. I love this deck. I really do. So big shout out to Trent from Taiwan. Coming up with a funky list like this. Um, yeah, Give up, giving up on the one prizer or potentially probably giving up on the one prizer is better, right? Yeah, we can get Sobble Sobble and then Drizzle. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, sometimes you have to start with hands like this. You have a good great deck, Galarian Moltres. Yo, great ball with her. <laughs> This is going to be a... Ooh! Wow. Crobat for four. This is a funky single strike deck. How are we able to get <laughs> Eternatus with Tower of Darkness? Okay, fine. This is scary, man. There's nothing we can do against the power of Galarian Moltres. We, of course, can go for Ryan if there's an energy under this Carpal. That would require us to get energies in the first place. This guy just keeps on drawing crazy cards. Alright. Let's hope he doesn't have boss's orders. This one. Lava ball. We don't have switch, otherwise um, the coughing would have been a great way to stall off. Sobble. Sobble. Okay. Really need to check my prizes. So I'm actually going to be going with this. Hiding Dark Energy. <laughs> we needed to do it a different way, but okay. 190 still does not knock us out though. So unless they have Galarian Zigzagoon and Boss. Yeah, I needed to play that differently so we had more HP. Crushing Hammer. Oof. Well, <laughs> that's nothing we can do about it. Aurora Burn. Well, he does get a lot of damage already. Uh, how do we even proceed now? We have Marnies. Drizzle. Yes. How do we even proceed? Ryan and Quick Ball doesn't do the job. Quick Ball. Crobat. Getting rid of the Mari, going for Crobat place. Is it gonna be enough? I don't know. Crobat and the house. Coughing. <laughs> Not what I wanted to see at all. This. Yo. We can still play a supporter, right? Quick ball. <laughs> this is turning into quite the weird situation. I think Marn is probably better suited for this situation. Ryan is not gonna work. Ryan is not gonna work. Coughing. Attachment onto this guy. I really want to retreat this guy, by the way. This one. And Marnie time. Okay. How are we going to win against Eternus when it is super aggressive with the Moltres right there? We do have E-switches, so uh, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Hmm. Retreat. This guy. Galarian Moltres, activate. Air Balloon here. And uh, we can go for Quick Ball Eldegoss or anything, but this is way worse than uh, the previous showcasing against that Zacian deck, that's for sure. Yeah, this Moltres is on fire. Crushing hammers. Oof. These hammers are really slowing me down. Umbreon. Attachment. Crobat. Bunkers. No boss, please. So we can have a chance. Two prizers. Two prizers. And we need to find Ryan at the correct time. We have Quick Ball Eldegoss to draw cards. He does have the boss instantly. Oh boy, Aurora Burn. <laughs> we do survive though. We do survive. Mm hmm. 
air balloon. We probably will get knocked out later. Yeah, air balloon. Coin ball. This is turning into quite the weird game. Ali goes Marnie again. Maybe we can find some ways to snipe. Because as soon as he plays on a Zigzagoon, we're done for. And Talion. Quick shooting there. We can, of course, use Evolution and Sense to find shady dealings to find Quick Ball and then Ryan and then shoot him again. But in this scenario, we really need to knock out this fella. Evolution and Sense. Shady dealings. Do we have Energy Search in here? <laughs> no, we do not. We, we literally have nothing. Literally have nothing at all. Yeah, this is bad. Hmm. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. There's literally nothing we can do. If we already have Ryan, maybe we can scoop up the Intellion. Scooping up and then Quick ball, preparing ourselves for a Ryan play potentially. Yeah, this <laughs> this is just bad. I don't even know what to do. Yeah, the dire flame wings is nice, but he's probably gonna knock us out with a glaring zigzagoon. Retreat to this guy it seems so bad, man. This Galarian Moltres has been causing us a lot of he headaches. We are not finding what we need. And also, if we tag with Galarian Moltres, we are gonna get knocked out instantly. These hammers also slowed us down, so a very interesting Eternatus build. Game one definitely showcased the strategy. Game two, not too much. There's Eternatus VMAX. And uh, our game, as soon as I see a Galarian Zigzagoon, I probably will be knocked out here. I don't even know if he's playing that. Grow bad drawing more cards. Maybe you won Zigzagoon. I'm expecting Zigzagoon to go down here. Crushing Hammers? This is a super scary build, man. Marnie, well. We had Ryan, we had Quick Ball. Somehow, miraculously, we need to trap him or something. Like, with bosses orders and stuff yeah, we cannot attack with Moltres that's like the silly part otherwise we're knocked out hmm okay Aurora burn knocking this out 110 damage on this guy Hoopa's into this Carpal Hoopa could have actually knocked this guy out Maybe we knock him out with Crobat. That's super funky. I've seen worse strategies. We can also knock him out with an Inteleon, by the way. 70 damage. That's 180. Now it still doesn't knock us out. But we'll prevent him from attacking, though. Check out. Attachment here. Research. Okay. This one. <laughs> EXP share. <laughs> we literally have nothing, so I think we will just uh, say well played. We were totally stuck in that game. That, oh, that first Galarian Moltres really caused a lot of trouble. If we were able to knock him out without getting knocked out ourselves, we actually would have actually gotten a, a, a better game going around because Eternus does give up three prize cards didn't happen but it's a rogue deck for uh, for sure let's try this out in the last game here 
As mentioned, if you go second, you can instantly go into Galarian Weezing, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Unless you have opening hands like this, then it's not too much fun. We have one switch. That's all we have. Galarian Weezing. Oh, this is very similar. Yeah, take that additional card. You have a good deck. He does have a good deck. We cannot uh, disagree. How to do this? Mm -hmm. He's gonna poison this uh, Crobat. We potentially could attack with Crobat, slapping 70 damage. If we have Dire Flame Wings and Energy Switch and then knock this, actually already slap 70 damage onto it. And then knock him out. That, that's not a bad idea. I like that idea. Run a quick ball this away. Finding Galarian. <laughs> yeah, Hoopa's also not an answer, by the way. Triple E switch. This one. Level ball. Subble. Quick ball. Orion. Finding Hoopa. <laughs> or Sabu. Hoopa has a nice Pokemon. There's a lot of wind cons right now. E switch switch is an option. E switch energy is an option. Come on. Of course, nothing <laughs> that we need. Nothing that we need. Hmm. We can attach 70. Not what we want, to be honest. Attachment here. Level ball. No, not level ball. Quick ball. Subble again. <laughs> we'll see how this match goes. Yeah, we're done. We have... Robot in the active slot. He can poison us. But that's gonna take quite a little bit of turns. We need to somehow also put him in an item lock. Or actually in an ability lock. Drizzle. So the first game was super funky. Second game, not too much. Third game, who knows? Everything is still possible. Look at all these the Drizzles go everywhere. Research, please whiff the wheezing. That would be so hilarious. Okay, there's a couple of out <laughs> Galarian Moltres. This is like the exact mirror match. What? How in the world? He does have reset stamp. This is a pre-rotation build. Ours is a post-rotation build. Ascension. Here he goes. Okay, we do have the one boss Zordus that we potentially could use. Do we have an energy in there? Huh. Let's see here. If we use Drizzle and boss's orders, and yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, as to be expected. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna get out another Drizzle. Don't wanna draw into them. I'm gonna put them on the bottom of the deck. This time around, the abilities no longer work. Putting the Drizzle on the bottom of the deck. Going for a Marnie play E switch or energy is a nice way to go about this specific situation. Yeah, E switch is here. A retreat and put him in an uh, ability block is an option. Retreat. Ascension. Okay. So we are sitting safe with Galarian Weezing. Could have already poked 70 damage, but then he would have had access to all of his abilities, which we don't want to see. We can severe poison into Hoopa. That's a thing. Quick ball. 
How is this game going to commence? Subble. Dashman on the wheezing <laughs> and the Marnie. Okay, that Marnie is super useful, by the way. And we have the hiding dark energy on our wheezing. He does not. We have boss's orders as well. So at one point we can boss use all of our abilities and start sniping like crazy. That's a nice idea. That is a nice idea. Lovable. We can also boss's orders with Galarian Moltres. Severe poison. Don't even know if he has another level ball. Evolution incense. And Teleon, quick shooting. He also has a hiding dark energy. Okay, fine. Boss's orders this guy. We are able to use our abilities instantly that way. Dire Flame Wings. Quick Shooting. This guy. And Severe Poise. Maybe we should have dragged up the uh, Moltres there. Could have been a nice solution. Yeah, we're gonna get knocked out uh, coming into our turn, by the way. Do we allow him to use his abilities? Yeah, maybe that shooting was differently, differently wrong. Maybe we should attach and retreat. If we retreat, then we can save this fella. Retreat. Yeah, we're gonna save our wheezing. He now has access to abilities, but it's fine. He only has one sniping fella. We get the first prize card, which is irrelevant. We do have Hiding Dark, so we can switch again. Like, one quick shooting is not going to be making a difference. Dire Flame Wings could be making a difference. I think I will retreat into Galarian Moltres and poke him with Galarian Moltres, but then the Galarian Moltres can poke us, so... Yeah, he's actually already attacking Galarian Moltres. Research... Yeah, E-Switch goes away. Galarian Moltres. We have the first prize card. Is it gonna matter? Subble as well. <laughs> save a light. This is the exact same copy. We're playing the exact same deck almost. Four damage counters. It's totally okay. Retreating. Old Cemetery sticks for the rest of the game. We're not going to be over-attaching energies here. Severe Poison. Activate. <laughs> this is a weird game. Nine HP remaining. Hoopa can slaughter it. One Italian in the discard as well. This guy does get damage. Sobble for nothing. Evolution into Drizzle. I wonder what he still has. He cannot stay in the active. I think we also have no way of using Eldegoss, so there's gonna be boss after Marnie and stuff. Ah, complex game. But at least you showcase uh, the way Weezing shuts down, shuts down everything. Retreating into this Weezing. Severe poison. Huh. Interesting take. What to do in this scenario? We can poke him with Galarian Moltres. 
but then his Galarian Moltres was also going to slap us. So we need to be prepared for that. <laughs> Marnie, how is this game? How is this gameplay crazy, man? E Switch and Intellion. Attachment of the turn. We actually retreat. Attachment here. Let's go. <laughs> Aurora burn. Boom. I know it's only a one prizer, but we have ways with Ryan we can make do. What is he gonna do? Attack with uh, one of these guys. Now has access to abilities though. He could potentially absorb an energy, but we mine it into a low hand size. If he does not use Galarian Weezing, we should be good. Two prize cards taken. It is up to him to decide whether he wants to commence on taking also two prize cards. Or does he want to play the slow game with Galarian Weezing, which probably was not going to matter because we have two attackers lined up. Also, we can E-switch to Intellion to actually slap Waterfall. He's going to go and attack with Sableye. We slap 90, 110, 130. Not enough quite yet. can also slap 20 damage on the Weezing. Hmm. Another Sableye. So he's going with Sableye moves. Marnie. Imagine him whiffing the E-switch. Okay, there's the Shady Dealing. He's getting whatever he wants. This Aldegas also allows us to Gust. That means we can gust up the two prizer. E switch to the sable eye. Aldegas Ryan is an option. Mm, no, nah, Aldegas is not an option because we need quick ball first in order to do that. Hmm. Two Italian quick pings goes after Crobat here. Crazy class for 430 damage. Okay, <laughs> and now the game is the game is super interesting. Okay, Sableye. Well, hello. 20 damage. That means we slap 130. That means one quick shooting going down on this guy. One quick shooting going down on this guy or on this guy. 20 on this guy is also. We need more prize card, man. Sableye. Scoop up net. Aldegas. Ryan. Energy onto Sableye. We need another energy. Energy switch no longer mattering. Over here, we do get damage, unfortunately. A retreat. And Evolution Ensign is probably not going to be a card we need right now. Might as well just get wheezing in hand. Let's rock. Crazy claws. <laughs> We're going back and forth, are we? So, two prize cards left to take. The Galarian wheezing is able to get knocked out with Hoopa. And I wonder if he's gonna be responding on our Sableye. That means we can respond on his Sableye again. Little does he know that we might actually have another Ryan and another um, Sableye in hand. So interesting takes for sure. 
maybe he Marnies. I don't even know if he is playing Marnie. Yeah, triple Marnie in this card. Wow. Quick shooting, going all the way onto the Galarian Weezing. It does make sense. Shady dealings. How are we gonna take... Oh, there's boss's orders. I think we don't want, no longer have a boss's orders. So we either need to like E-switch and attach onto Aldegas in order to do something. Ah, super close games, man. Level ball. <laughs> Subble, okay. Subble can actually be a, a game changing scenario. If we knock this guy out, there's ways we can actually make do. 40 damage on this guy. No longer having access to a second copy of boss. The checkmate games, man. Yeah, imagine playing this deck against any other deck that also uses the ton of abilities. Yeah, if Weezing still is here. We slap with Hoopa. We could potentially slap down another coughing. He already sniped once. Okay, there's boss's orders. Going down on the severe poison onto the crowband. Alright. I like that. We do have another Ryan here, so that's super awesome. Mm-hmm. Air Balloon, Retreat, and it's poking time. Poof! <laughs> Still not able to quick shoot right now. Level Ball, okay. This looks okay. He could quick shoot twice onto Galarian Weezing. I don't know if he has another boss. He might have Eldegoss. Could have attacked him with Weezing, but he had a Hiding Dark Energy. Phew! Crazy games. His uh, scenario of trapping Crobat was a nice one, but later does he know that we're playing Air Balloon. Two of them as well as a Switch. And we still keep on to that Switch card just in case. Maybe he has some sort of a fan of waves and traps this guy. You never know. <sighs> this has been quite the, the footage showcasing a mirror match like this. Definitely try it out for yourself. Weezing's going down. He's gonna get three damage counters with Galarian Moltres and then save like and finish this guy, so. <laughs> Old Cemetery, super crazy. Shady dealings. We still have a Ryan and we still. Hmm. What to do? We still have access to our abilities. That's good. He's probably not having another Marnie. It's also good. So maybe we hang on to the Ryan. Although we really need another Sableye. Or maybe we loot search for boss's orders. Loot search for boss's orders seems like a great plan. Don't know if he's gonna be playing one, two, three, three Marnies. Quick ball and research. Probably no Marnies, otherwise he would have played it by now. That means if we loot search for boss's orders, we potentially win, right? Because right now quick shooting doesn't poke a lot of damage. Hmm. Okay, he does play his last copy of Marnie down. No more Marnies for the rest of the game. Actually, the game is not lasting too much longer, but okay. Stubble. Yeah, just passing it out, that's nice. So, in that situation, um, we could E-switch an energy. Let's see here, if we poke damage right now, Sableye can one-head KO anything, right? But he's probably looking for... Hmm. E-switch options. I just go for research. How can we win against this fella? EXP share, subble, energies. We retreat. 
yeah they just concede they just concede they probably i think i was going to loot surge because that sableye didn't have a lot of hp left Loot search for the boss source. He could have not married me again and we probably would have won for sure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always. I appreciate it. Be sure to check out this list. Looks like people are uh, discovering this list and trying it out for themselves. You should do that as well. Be sure to check out our sponsors, PotownStore.com, the best place to, for TCGO code cards. You can use that coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5 freaking percent of your order. Looking for evolving skies codes, looking for promo codes, whatever you need, they have it. And uh, also go check out CardsMarket.com. A European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And last but certainly not least is yourplaymat.com. You're able to actually buy a playmat there. You can use the coupon code down below. Just click the link, your playmat. You get 10% off your order and uh, they create uh, your perfect playmat. You can design it yourself. You can upload your favorite wallpaper. They ship worldwide and it's very, very cheap as well. So be sure to check it out, yourplaymat.com. And uh, also, uh, I wish you all farewell. This was a long video. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. I uh, see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.